What a new day. Greet. <laughs> Come on. Y'all say mercy, 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 mercy. Things and salutations. Let me say. And let me tell you a quick let me tell me hello. How are you doing today? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> How are you? I hope you had a fabulous day. I hope you are making it through your Tuesday and it's not feeling too bad. Uh, I'm going to quickly tell you what I have been working on so far between yesterday and today. Very exciting project. I started, I, I don't know, I think we haven't really explored the power of inner beauty as much as what we can. And... You know, there's a misconception when it comes to beauty. In any case, a lot of people are like, oh, but your beauty standards, I don't even know. Uh, you know, we don't really, we, we, if you, what I feel is that beauty is what it is to you. So it is a reflection of self in most cases. And sometimes, you know, you get the misunderstanding of what beauty has uh, or what role beauty plays in like things like pageants. I don't know how many of you guys have even been involved with stuff like that, but beauty pageants and like talent competitions and where it's like, oh, need I look so okay, like a Oh, girl, your pouches. Ooh, ouchie, your knop. And when they talk about the knop, you mean like your cater. Don't be on bus cop, man. Uh, but you know, like there's, there's always this misconception about what really goes on behind the scenes with pageants and things. And, Something that's really interesting, and that's what I, I'm going to share with you, is like what's important, or well, what I'm working on. That's like really exciting for me. That's like my important project for the day is I am working together with some people who are really trying to make a difference uh, when it comes to the idea and the perception and what happens when it comes to these beauty pageants. Now, wait, it's not just about like, yeah, oh, but you know, we want to make sure that it's healthy for everybody competing in all the categories and that is representative of all the different beauty that exists because everybody has their own uniqueness and their own beautifulness. <laughs> That's like, are you have your own beautifulness, man. It's like a t-shirt. I have my own beautifulness. Um, but it's true. Because I can put that dextel glue my dad, so it's a lady can as I buy the cat bagboard. But a lot of the time, there's not real inf- like influence. You don't really get to see what happens behind the scenes. And I am so freaking blessed. I'm so... Like, it, it comes into why today's live is happening. Like, today's live, we're going to be talking about purpose. But this is just this... It ties in so beautifully. It's like the fact that there is a, a, an alignment and there's an opportunity in all sorts of things that I find important to me like to be able to help people with the voice help them understand beauty is like it's insane and now i get an opportunity to do that and it's even better like it even extends to the greater ftv community because there's like cool stuff that you will also be able to do like if you're interested in maybe participating in something like that you want to do modeling or acting there's like courses and things like online courses that you could take anyway we're going to talk about that again i'm just excited like it's amazing how Provision comes. And the thing is, like, you, 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 you're you so stuck in this... Uh, life is... You're so close to how tough things are because you are convinced you're buried when in actual fact you've been planted. And the cool thing about this is, like, when provision shows up, it happens in ways that makes you feel like it's... Oh, that was a coincidence. Or, oh, my word, I don't understand it. But when you sit down and you break it down, it was particularly designed and meant for you and every single thing that you put your faith your purpose your intention behind is what helped materialize that reality and that's what's really cool and then obviously god has this amazing way of like knowing everything and then she's just like yo boom here you go let me just continue blessing you so i'm just experiencing some blessing if you are having a great day what's been like your big Yay, so far today. Like for me, it was I get an opportunity to work and shape on the perspective of people's opinions on uh, pageants and beauty thing like Miss World, uh, and then actually get involved with like being able to help 
give those different types of beautifiers <laughs> um, a voice. That's freaking amazing. So there's more of that stuff coming, of course. And I'm sure you probably checked this out because you are one of those, like, the reason why you're even here in the first place is because you have an itch. An itch that needs to be scratched. I want to know things. I want to learn things. I want to feel things. I want to laugh and I want to connect with people like that. And that's why you're here. So you've done a bit of that little searching and you've checked and I know this is going to be like, boink. Here's the part where it like pops up. It's like, okay, I have created a link in my bio. But the only reason why I've done that is because I wanted to expand the ways in which we can connect. Plus, it is a brilliant way for me to be able to be like, I can continue doing this and just be like, look, the thing you're looking for, trust me, go click there, do the things, connect with me. I've even figured out, thanks to some amazing who are soon to be, or I feel like they're already nominated moderators, uh, who have pointed out that there were some flaws in the Telegram group, which we've now repaired. You can now message me whenever you feel like that. Play through my girl, my friend, my uncle, my auntie, my Everybody, my peoples, how amazing is that? And you can find all that information in the link. But like I was saying, I'd love to hear about you and what your highlight for the day was. I'm excited. I've still got this whole thing. Like, it's so weird. The energy that comes from an opportunity you didn't expect that has potential to not only benefit you, but everyone else within your reach that you know it can benefit. That costs so much hard work. It's phenomenal. Like, you can't... I can't bleh, bleh. Anyway... Uh, hello, and uh, thank you if you just jumped in. Hello to like a live with Etienne Davids here on TikTok, and it's fantastic to connect with you. Happy Tuesday. Congratulations, you beautiful soul. You made it all the way to another day, another opportunity to try. As long as you got a, a breath in your lungs and an opportunity to choose, you got a chance to make a difference and do something. So today I want to just chat to you guys a little bit about purpose and, and, and the way... So Oh, great. Let's start with our little... Yeah. I, 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 I feel like I want this to be of more value to you, even though it's like incredibly valuable to me, because this interaction, like I've said before, is is like what my, my, my highlight of the day I get to, other than when my wife comes home, is when I get to connect with you guys and just like, because I'm at home all alone, and I'm just like looking at screens and stuff all day and working hard. But I get to chat to you. And one of the ways that I can help you understand the value behind purpose is by sharing some stuff about me. So now you also get to know a little bit about me. So I am a Capricorn. I don't know if that has anything to do with anything, but if you if it tickles your fancy, great. I was born on the 4th of January. Yes, you've missed my birthday. It's not too late to EFT and ear wallet and inbox any of the gifts. If you feel like you've got something cock for Christmas, you want to give it away. I am your man. Anyway, so I was in January, um, the 4th of January. And I've grown accustomed to the idea of getting trickies and swinches for my birthday. Um, but I'm the son of a very amazing, well put together, God fearing power couple whose dad has a background in environmental health and was always like dedicated to like the word and whose mom has a phenomenal passion for mental health and really helping people who also like from the beginning or right at the get-go she was also like right in the front lines in psychiatric uh, and I'm surprised Watch, Dad, your trolley works. Here comes Etienne. And I grew up in this town. Yesteris. Um, Sorry, I've been living in Cape Town so long. I get it mixed up. But I, I grew up in this town called Yesteris. And it was very blurry for me because it was at a time where I didn't really understand much. Yes, it was pre-apartheid. We're talking 1986 here. Um, or, or it was like during apartheid. Yeah, but uh, apartheid... It was gedurende die tijd waar het niet zo lekker was voor ons allemaal. And people were just like, uh, the wrong oaks that uh, had the mic had the mic at that time. Uh, but humble beginnings. Grew up, uh, my parents, dad's from Wellington, mom's from St. Vish. Get my swoop in the movie, that's why I got a soft spot for you out there in the desert. Jelle is my man, said young. Jelle allemaal, tot daar in the North Cape. Ik is lief wat jelle allemaal. And, and... They were firm believers in 
there being more to them just being like, oh, shit, we are having a child. We are parents now. Guess what? Like most of us, even me, when I went, I found out, I promised my, my soul left my body for a moment <laughs> when Nicole was like, um, and I'm like, ah, froze. It was almost like my, my video was buffering. It was just like, because eh. my soul left. And when my soul left, I was looking at myself. I'm like, this is really happening. And it came back in my body. I'm like, wow, I can't believe it. My life has never been better, more meaningful, more purposeful than when I met my wife and we both were introduced to our daughter. And, and the reason why I'm making this connection is because I think that there's something that we forget about purpose. We're always so driven to connect it to like gain, finance. Oh, what's your purpose? No, no, no. I am a freaking amazing accountant. You could have owed sales like for the last 15 years, but I promise you, bro, send me your goeter and you will be getting for the next 10 years. Fine. You're really talented. There's so many talented people that have really good gifts, but is that your purpose? Is that the thing that without a doubt, if you had to transform and, and wake up as you, but in a completely different life, you'd be able to carry on finding the route to that thing that makes you feel like, yo, I know I've got this one life to live. I know there's so much happening, but that's my thing. This is what I was designed for. I am the equivalent of a bottle opener on the key ring. The only reason I'm there is to help people mimic their children when they get a bottle. You must also get the bottle. But now this is the thing that I'm trying to get at. It's, it stems really deep. The things that I've picked up, especially on my own journey and trying to discover purpose, is a lot of direction you're getting is maybe pointing in more the material than the benefit ro ro road. Whereas what I found to be really valuable and that I'm even experiencing every single day and I practice it all the time, other than the fact that I'm practicing gratitude, is I'm really trying to discover me. Like as selfish as that sounds, it's like I really, I spend time with Etienne and I'm like, yo Etienne, what are you trying to do today? What did, what, is the, what did you do yesterday that maybe didn't make us so proud? That we could maybe try to do better or not do it all today. And I expect answers. I'm not like the teacher that's just going to be like, okay, nobody knows. I'm just going to, okay, now I'll check out you. Sort of. I want an answer. And the more I do that, the more I have a clearer understanding of life being more about le oh, less about wants and needs, but more about impact and connection. And what do I have at my disposal? Talent, gift, friendship, network, uh, knowledge, abilities, whatever it is that I can, I, you can, you can, whatever your thing is, list your thing. Like I, I, whatever that thing is, those are the tools that you can use in order to make sure that you can fulfill that purpose to create connection. And, and that is where I feel like it starts from introspective, starting out from where, where it all began who the original self is. And then you'll take a little bit of that pressure off of yourself of trying to find out like, yo, so what are you born to do? <laughs> um, at the moment, it's try to keep the lights on, not have a heart attack, get diabetes, have a stroke, get hit by a car mugged, rob by somebody, my identity stolen online, confused or cancelled by online culture or alternatively just like collapsing for no reason like, I haven't had time to think about what I'm here to do it takes some of that pressure off when you're just trying to find out what am I trying to do so here's some other thing that I really wanted to share with you other than just this what I'm hoping was valuable is practical ways of being able to get there because that's one thing like you forget that you can take the donkey to the water, but the donk the water can't drink the donkey. It's 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 <laughs> I wanna be like, okay, how do you grab the donkey and know where it is in the first place? So a practical way of being able to try to make a connection with yourself to really start finding out what's it's not about um, wants and needs, it's about impact and connection, is to just explore who you think you are. Put yourself in the position of your partner, your best friend. Your your mother, your the person that you spend the most soul energy 
on. Think of that yourself from that person and then make a list. <coughs> Pardon me. Of the kind of things that you think that they see you as. And then like drop it in conversation just casually. And be, like, we'll be watching the Ozark. Oh, by the way, it's not like sponsored either, but I love that show, the Ozark. My Hanada it is amazing. I love it. I see you watching Ozark and maybe you're like just chilling. Yeah. Hey, Mikey. Wonder if you have to maybe be a procrastinate? No, I'm going to No, no, I'm not going to You might get some insight there that you were not aware of. You might be able to get some value there from people that you might have completely overlooked. And that will begin your journey in starting to pave this way of knowing, having a bit more certainty, having a bit more clarity about what your purpose might be. Because you're more focused on connection and impact than you are about like, I want to make a hell of a lot of money and be comfortable. So that's my soapbox for the day. I hope it was a little bit valuable for you. And like I always like to do on these things at the end of the day, I want to go straight to you because that's the whole reason why we're here. Connection! I hope I gave a little bit of impact. It's time for connection straight to the comments. So please be like, I'm going to be... I want to try and catch up. So, 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 please say hi. Let me know what you think. If you, if you had a great day today, if there's something that you maybe was like, hey, you know, this is just nothing to do with what you're talking about today, Etienne. This is absolutely way, way off of anything that even might be remotely what you might have been thinking. But, hey, share it. That's the reason why we're here. So, let's go quickly see who are here. I'm sure my, the usual suspects are already in, of course, of course. Uh, Pnut. Peanut, Peanut 05, greetings. There's always two consecutive videos on my For You page when I open up TikTok. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. Must mean that I must be doing something right, which is also uh, uh, something else that you might want to know about me. I'm quite um, experienced in the sense that I've been doing this for like, for, oh, not this, but like working in digital content marketing and strategy and like helping businesses and small businesses take the step from, well, I've been doing that for a very, very long time. All of this is just like 100% authentic Etienne. So I'm trying to stay away from like, the, yo, let's just make sure like everything is like SVO uh, matched and let's ensure that the right trending side, I'm not trying to do that. So it's amazing that because of this community being so interactive, that I'm consecutively showing up on your For You page. Hey, hey, look at the impact that you've made by making, clicking on the follow, by making a comment, making a arki. It's amazing. Thank you. Peanuts, good to have you here. Sativa Love for 20 Princess. Sativa Love for 20 Princess. You have two, three, four. You have all the important things in my formula to happiness. <laughs> In your name, you are amazing, and I love you. Thank you for being part of the conversation. Welcome to the community. Welcome to contribution, to connection and impact. And I hope that you found a little bit of value today. Uh, nice to have you. You're the highlight of my day. <gasps> Stop it! Guys, that is amazing. You are... I feel so good now. Thank you. That was like my dopamine kick for the day. It's like, just, I, I know every time I come here, and I know that's probably also why I'm kind of guilty because of my dopamine addiction. I'm like, oh, but I love not social validation, but just like like-minded people echoing a similar principle of one love. It's amazing to get that and to actually experience it inside all the noise of all the destruction and distraction and the negativity. It's so good to see that. So yes, it is a little bit selfish, but I appreciate love you. Thank you. You are the highlight of my day. Hey, yeah, yeah, you should lease your boodskapper. At least now my boodskapper for you, most now, Peanut. Peanut, relax your body. I'm going to read all the messages. I promise you. I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to it eventually. Nadia. Hi, Nadia. It's good to have you here. Lovely. Thank you for supporting out yesterday, sending me that message. She's like, yo, never feel like you can't message me. Please do it. I know it will get to a ridiculous point because I know this community is not, it's not even about me anymore. Like it's going to get to a point where the community is going to get so large that maybe the time will be a little bit less 
um, that I'll be able to spend on one on one. But please, still, your voice is important because this is your thing, just much as mine. So thank you for sending me that message and saying, "Listen, bro, this is what's up." If you didn't point that out, if I didn't get the comment uh, from Z, I wouldn't have known, and it would have just been stuck there. So thank you, appreciate you, thank you. You're awesome. Uh, hi everybody, there we go, look at that And Aisha's also, oh Aisha, good to have you here As you said, buffering your live video froze on cue Oh no, and yes, like this is just something I don't know if there's any other techies or, or anybody that's versed in internet connectivity I am currently shopping for a new service provider I live in Mama's Breach on Notes Remote We've only recently got fiber and I understand that everybody's got an option or whatever and they're trying to, but I'm not just looking for a fiber connection. I literally work from home. My, my livelihood is dependent on the internet and I can't have a jittery connection. Other than the fact that it is annoying, it, 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 for me, it's a lack of respect from the expectation of me paying my full fee every single month. I, I mean, just give me a connection. Don't have to make it. 1080, don't let the people like see my DNA, my cells, see my, oh, don't have to see that, my follicles and stuff, but like, just let me be able to connect. So if you know anyone, if you're in the industry, if you, this is the, exactly the kind of thing. Let's connect because I'm not going to name and shame my supplier because it's not up to them. And I give them the opportunity to try to fix it. So it's, we'll see. I'm just shopping. So I won't, I don't hope a buffering stops. So much passion. Yeah, I am passionate about things. I'm passionate about, you know, I think it's probably, it's the, it's the, it's being the son of a pastor and of a nurse, man. You, you cannot say, trying to save everyone and maybe yourself if you have time, other than son of a pastor and a nurse. So, uh, self conversations and reflections are so important. Sativa Love, you are so, so right there. You're accountable and it's important for growth. I mean, you know, one of the things that you might hear me say often is that your comparison should be against yourself. I know it's tempting to like look at other people. Like if let's take this platform, for example, if you're a creator, if you're a business, if you're trying to grow and all that, it's like, like cool, we can, there's not a consultation. So I'm not doing that, but I'm just saying if you are, your objective is to try to grow on this platform and you really don't have any idea of what's happening. You have to have the conversation around what exactly you are trying to achieve. What is the message? What does it look like on the other side? If I watch my videos and I do do that, I watch that, I'll be like, I judge myself. I'm like, if I'm watching this and I didn't know the guy, would this be valuable for me? Is this something I am willing to spend my time on? And if I can't, can't answer a bunch of questions, I'm much stricter with myself, obviously, um, especially for my pre-made content. Um, but, but if I can't answer a couple, I don't do it, but it keeps you accountable so that you can get closer, not to perfection, but to progression so that you can be better than the last time. And if you're comparing yourself to yourself, you are actually using a smart objective, a smart measurable. You're using something that you can actually control that you have all the information of. But on this platform, if you compare yourself to like other creators, other people, like they got this many, they got this. you aren't even setting the bar. What you're doing is you are slipping in the shower, <laughs> if that makes sense. Talk to yourself, understand yourself, know yourself so that you can help others understand how to be with you and, and treat with you. And when you understand the amount of commitment and time it took to know yourself, you will respect what someone else has done when they present who they are, whether it is their true self, their projected self or their perceived self, it doesn't matter, but you will have that much more authentic interaction. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be a, a preacher. Oh, I'm so glad you got something, Naz. I'm so, so glad I could share that with you. Uh, legend Derek. I am legend. Wait for it. Derek. Hello, dar. Like it, my head. Wiki laat aangesluit. Welkom. Welkom aan de event. Die gebeurtenis van vandaag. Ons praten met Eden van de Passie. Als jij niet die paasje hebt, dan denk je niet met de eerste voor jezelf gaan kijken binnen de innerlijk, innerlijke introspectie. Je moet van de zelf kijken en van de zelf vragen, wat is dit wat ik wil impacten? Wat is dit wat ik wil eh, connecteren? En de... <laughs> Sorry, ik weet niet die Nederlandse, maar voor mij. 
Ik werd dan schnijt niet en uit de los. Ik wil niet die mok de draag niet maken. Het is zo legendary. Welkom, welkom. Uh, I do feel like I was more uh, productive today. Awesome, Aisha. Please, that was am- I'd love to also find out a little bit, m- bit more about what you do and what, what you, what's your day today? What's the thing that keeps you like sane <laughs> when you're not at home and your second job? <laughs> uh, found value today. Oh, that's the kind of thing I'd love to hear. And I'd love to hear from you. So make sure you please let me know about your take, your input, your insight in the comments as well. And this is what we spend. The, if you first time that you're here. For like the first few minutes, I like to share a little bit about myself and, and provide something that I have found valuable in my own life that might be a, a, a value to you. And then the last part, I just love to connect and just read through the comments and chat to you. So um, I do know that we only have half an hour and that's why I have that whole freaking sexy looking link. Ah, oh, fabulous looking thing. You can listen, you can get all sorts of cool stuff in you. Don't let me get all salesy. No, it didn't must stop with that, my bro. You don't have to sell for the people. I'm not selling to the people, man. I'm just letting them know about the nine men. You were supposed to not be like those old that truck the hill. Truck I smashing and it's really smashing, man. Also, that you come like a miss, miss like okay. Sorry, but there's a link. This is a link. Um, you always bring the quality. Thank you, especially with like the, the madness. <laughs> Uh, when I see your name, I remember what the sativa did to me yesterday. Woo! You know, it would be interesting. I think we should do like a Telegram live stream, puff, puff, puff. Because we can't really do that here. They restrict you and stuff. So maybe like like a schedule when we have time, the kids are asleep. You have a little bit of like, you've cut away like 10 minutes or something. And we can either play a game or we can just chat. We can just be like, we can tell a story behind how you... How does Bud interact with you, and how did you get? In the, and we can just have like a little scary figgy together because I'm seeing obviously those by a funny little bite. Let me know if you'd want to do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying. Like, hey, sativa's my thing. It's my thing. And I saw my plants are in free flower. What? So JV does the harvest time as I got every veggie, baby. Anyway, not that we don't get too ahead of ourselves. We're grateful for the day. Stay present. Because in the present moment, you do not not only have the front row seat to the unveiling of the story, which is the journey that is your life, but you have the opportunity to choose it. Stay present. Okay. Um, I was like, will he even read this DM? But it wasn't necessary. Of course I was going to read it. Hope you had the best time. Uh, no, I'm kind of an indica girl. Sativa kills me. I love it. Oh, we're going to have great that See if you want to join that group. I agree. It's annoying when your livelihood is dependent on the internet. I really feel like that's like one of the conversations we haven't had yet that I honestly believe that the internet has literally become a basic human right. And hold on before you start throwing stones, please hold on, hold on, please don't, don't, don't. I'm just saying, I know we still have to make strides in providing basic food, sanitation, water. I mean, even just water, fresh air. I know we have to do that. But in the direction that we are seeing society move in, I think we should start considering having the conversation that the internet should become a basic human right. I'm just saying. Um, I, I love Sativa, but it's the indica. It's better for me. Woo! We're going to have some fun in that group. Aha, you had a lack of vibe. And I'm going to have someone who drama studeren. You study drama? Please tell me that you create some stuff. I'm going to check. I'm going to learn a little bit. I'm going to stalk. I'm going to stalk. I only get a chance to do that a little bit, man. Every now and then. I'm going to stalk though. I'm going to lend you Derek. I'm going to go and see Vita's doll. So for you, I want to see if you got some content. That's awesome. Awaken. Greetings, Resistance 89. Wait, wait, wait. What was my favorite? Greetings in the name of the most. I let's all see our rest of our youth. Thanks for praising the most. I try to say blessings and maximum respect. One love. Two respect. Welcome to it. I teach online. Awesome. I'm a great art teacher, but switched over to online teaching during lockdown. <gasps> Ooh, I think that's what we should talk about tomorrow is what everybody had to do and how, where they are now after having done that since lockdown. Ooh, interesting. I also did a TEFL course, Vijay, because I wanted to start teaching English. Um, I knew it. Aisha, uh, you come on I'm for sure we should do that. We're excited for the harvest. Respect, we are. Stalk my... <laughs> So you better start prepping now as our draft is going to upload them. Okay, so we wish the end of today. So I want to just leave you with two things. One, 
Make sure that you look inside. Start understanding yourself. Look at what your purpose is driven by impact and connection and not so much material benefit. Second thing, once you start understanding your purpose a little bit better, be, you feel the relief of not having that pressure when you have a clearer understanding of what the journey looks like. It's just a story that you are busy unveiling to yourself and it has ups and downs, but each part plays an important role in ultimately what will be the finale that all of us will get to see. And thirdly, this is the part where I and I do a bit of a self plug and I'm like, please also go and like click on the link and stuff and explore some of the extra stuff that we have available here. It's still open opportunity for matriculants and anybody that's looking to earn some income uh, working from home online, only generating leads. You don't have to do any sales. So it's really nice. There's lots of support. I'm directly involved with that. Oh, it's amazing. Um, I also have, uh, there's a new little tag that I've added for surveys. So professionals in IT, customer service, there's a place where you, where you can earn like up to $250 for 60 minutes from this website called Respondent. That's also in the link. And most importantly, I'd love to see you in the Telegram group so we can continue this conversation and have a little bit more time to get to know each other better. You're amazing. Your light is important. Your life matters. And every single person that gets an opportunity to meet you should be privileged. Make sure that they deserve to meet you and that you are worthy of being met love light prosperity joy and i'll see you tomorrow at one o'clock you beautiful souls thank you for coming oh now i forgot the knopje i drink a knopje like i said you know where the thing is i know where the thing is i feel you have said you drink here so and there's the one thing okay now pop it up six viewers so now there's still six but i must say bye we're still bye we're going to telegram okay sorry sorry bye